happy vlog. I thought I would film the weekend with you guys. We have some fun things going on. Today is Friday. I think I'm gonna just play catch up today. We had a lot of family in town this past week. We've been sick, so like the house is like, it's chaos right now. So I think I'm just gonna take the day today and just kind of recoup from everything. Kind of just clean up, organize. I would love to do some like weekly planning. I have this new idea that I think if we like print out our monthly or weekly schedules, it would be better to just see them out in front of us because as a family, we're pretty good. However, we kind of lack routine and we lack time blocking. I think that would be very beneficial for us. So I would like to do that, kind of sit down and find maybe a template or something for that. And then I would like to get my nails done today. My nails have completely been outgrown. I've been doing lots of painting and like home renovation stuff, but now that I'm pregnant, I'm not gonna be doing as much. So I don't know, I feel like we can get them pretty. I think I'm gonna start here with the bathroom. We kind of are sharing the bathroom right now with Bryson, like I said, because we had family in town. So I'm gonna probably transfer all of his stuff over back to his bathroom um, and then just kind of organize. I have no sort of organization at all when it comes to like clutter in here. Like I honestly don't even know what's down here. It's, it's pretty bad. So I think I'm just gonna sit down, throw on some music and just kind of organize. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I don't do well in the bathroom unless it's organized. Like I won't do my skincare. I don't feel like put together. It's just like chaotic and it doesn't make getting ready and like doing self-care enjoyable. But if I do clean it up, I'll be much more likely to come in here at night and like do skincare and I need to really focus on my skin. I haven't been focusing on much on any, any way at all. So this one will help me. is clean i love a clean bathroom this makes me so happy and i always love lighting a candle after i clean a room that's how you know i've cleaned the candle is lit um i did switch up a lot of my skincare this was more minimal but i think if i have this stuff out i'll be more likely to use it I've got like obviously now the prenatals I've been using castor oil on my eyebrows to um, promote some hair growth. It's just the typical stuff. We've got some perfume, tanner, um, skincare, all that stuff. This drawer is my makeup. This is just a better way to organize it than on the counters. I did um, hair stuff and hair tools in this drawer. And then finally, this is just kind of like things that I don't use very frequently. And then down here, it's a lot more organized. Stuff that I don't use as frequently just because coming down here all the time is not as convenient. We've got like my Dyson hair tools, tampons that I won't be using for quite a while, and just like some extra stuff down there. But I feel so much better and it feels really clean, which we love. I'm about to do some laundry, but you know it's bad when you've still got the laundry from last time and it's not even done and you've already piled up a whole nother load. This closet, it's been like our throwaway closet. I have to organize this at some point in my life, but it's bad. It's so bad. There's lots of things in here that I need to organize in terms of just baby stuff like by like age so yeah just piled on stuff here but somewhere in here i have my pregnancy stuff and i need to get my belly oil out and my pregnancy pillow i don't know how i'm gonna find it i can't even get in this is Another 
another time another day so i've got to do some computer work taxes but i thought you know let's make it cozy taxes doesn't have to be super ugly light a candle make it stress-free it's time to do the taxes i ended up going to h&r block my accountant actually retired this year it was a lot so h&r block did it for me and i just have to pay them so everything's pretty much done it's just the the soul sucking part of paying them i typically will pay like quarterly taxes but this year has just been super chaotic i like missed two payments so like if i had ended up doing the two that i missed i would have gotten money back but this time i've got to pay which is it is what it is so i'm gonna do that but i'm also gonna find a template like i said of like like a family calendar or something that i can print my mom actually just moved in so she's downstairs working and she has a printer so i think i would like to do that and maybe put it on the fridge that way we can just see like our spread of what's going on because trying to navigate communicating all of that and getting everything done that we need to get done has been kind of difficult for our family so i'm trying to figure out a way to just like make it better and i'm such a routine based person and it really does help to be in a routine just having it at least laid out of an idea of what we want i think it's going to be very helpful for us So I used Canvas um, or Canva and I used the template called Beige Minimalist Weekly Planner. My mom's printing this right now, but I went ahead and just put all of our things and tasks that we need to do and priorities. I really like this one because it's time blocked. It has your priorities up here. So like I said, I think this is going to help out tremendously. Some things that I put on here are like church on Sundays. Sundays will be kind of like get our lives together, grocery, clean prep for the week, sit down and actually talk about the prep for the week, which is crucial. We have like swimming lessons that I put in here. Xander now has baseball games. I put on here waking up at six in the morning. That again will help tremendously because waking up and just like go, 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 go. It's just very chaotic. If we all woke up at six, it would be ideal. I think I talked about this before, but it sets your um, something rhythm. Cardiac, car, not cardiac rhythm, <laughs> circadian rhythm. When you wake up and go to bed at the same time every day, like there's benefits in that. And so I think having a schedule like that would be better for us. Um, so like in bed by 10, I want to do screenless nights, reading, journaling, that kind of stuff. We used to do that a lot and we've just gotten so used to just putting on the TV, honestly, and it's not good. Having a designated work day, a designated time for dinner. Sundays will plan out our weekly dinners, which again, if we have everything set out in stone, it would just make our lives a whole lot easier because it takes away that decision-making fatigue, um, especially when you have a toddler running around and like there's just no structure at all. Like creating structure, I think is gonna be really good for us. And then I also wanna prioritize like our exercise we haven't been really doing. I put taxes on here for both of us. I'm already done with mine oil change. I wanna prioritize date night, home projects I put in here. It all looks pretty good. So I'm gonna pop these on the fridge and I'm gonna go get my nails done. It nails are done they look so good the lady was amazing like she did this i don't even know what you call it but from her country she does like a different technique or something but it's technically still gel but it was just really interesting and then the lady who owned the salon came over and showed me her nails and though i guess the way that this lady does it she has like 10 years experience it was four weeks later and it still looked new i was like go for it like I'm all for that so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have to do my nails for like another month plus it's a French manicure so even longer like I feel like growth or grow out with French manicures they don't look as bad and yeah wow like I finally found a nail salon here in North Carolina 
It is called Lionel Nail Salon. So if you're in the Charlotte area, just excellent service. There's like individual chairs, like you have your privacy, it's clean. But this actually felt like a treat. Like I really loved it. And the salon itself had like these giant windows with these beautiful trees. Like I actually very much enjoyed that. Got myself an espresso, got to prepare for my son. He's absolutely nuts right now, but I also got myself a blueberry muffin it looks so good i'm literally craving everything under the sun right now drive the same roads every day we both get there our own way this land and how different two souls can be. So I'm actually at the store right now. I'm in my mom's car, which is why it looks like a new car. She actually has a pretty cute car. It is clearly freezing cold again, <laughs> hence the giant puffer. I'm gonna do some decor shopping for our living room because we just got in these Nathan James arched bookshelves. They're really, 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 really cute. We put one on each side of the fireplace. Nathan James has really cute stuff. A lot of just staple neutral pieces, which I like. They're super affordable, but they're like super high quality. The exact name of the bookshelves we got, I'll link down below. The wood and metal five shelf arch bookshelf. And I have it in the color oat matte black um they also have one in gold and then they also have one that is in black with a little bit of darker toned woods i think it looks really good with the fireplace which we also redid so i thought like just at least decorating the mantle and the fireplace itself it's gonna look really good and then the bookshelves obviously if we get that set we'll have at least one really nice wall in the living room so i'm thinking maybe like a nice plant on the top where the arch is on the bookshelf maybe some books or like a vase or just like little decor pieces I'm gonna go to a nursery and then I'd like to get a few more logs. Um, I put some logs on the bottom of the shelf which make it look so good. It looks way better than I thought. Um, it was such an easy assembly too. Like a lot of the times when you have to assemble furniture you need like two people but I did both of these all by myself and it was so easy. Like it took so little time and then the, the instructions that the bookshelves came with. It's cute. It's like oh I know you're hungry but you've got one more stuff to do. Like it like encourages you throughout building which I thought was super cute. So yeah I'll link those down below for you guys. Um, but right now I really want to just focus on making them look really pretty. See what I can find with these more affordable places that I'm going to go to. And then if I need to buy anything online, we'll do that later. This beautiful vase, this smaller mirror. I did not find a bigger mirror for the top of the mantle, which I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna find one online later. And then I still have a rug to get. They had those sheepskin rugs, but they weren't the colors I was looking for. Three of these um, candlestick holders, they're all different sizes, so I thought I could play with those. A lot of the decor pieces in here I want to be like pops of color and stuff like that. Eventually I'm gonna get like actual art for the wall. So I didn't wanna get any art just because I wanna find art with my family and it's gonna gradually build up. I don't wanna just like fill the walls with art that doesn't mean anything to me. This is like a big boy, but he looks pretty cool. Kind of like rustic looking, which kind of fits the vibe. I picked up this little lamp. I don't know if it's gonna fit or not, but I thought this was cute. And I'm like, this is either gonna really work or it's gonna look really weird. So we'll see. Um, I picked up a few candles. Z loves mushrooms and nature and all of that. So I found this and this is like the most, I would say, non in your face mushroom style piece that you can find a lot of them are like really colorful and like out there so this is like a cute one that i thought like looked pretty neutral enough and then i found this candle here and it's like a little uh lantern which i thought was cute um and then i picked up a few frames i really liked this arch frame i'm gonna figure out what picture's gonna go in here but i liked 
this it felt really unique and then i found this really small one which i think was cute i found this adorable little tray here um and this is actually like hand painted which I thought was pretty cool. This little guy, I don't know if that's gonna really match, but I really liked this, so we'll find a place for him. And then I found this cute book. It's a really colorful book, and it's Audrey at Home, which I thought was cool. Like home decor, just like really like home cozy stuff. Um, and then we already had some pieces, so they left, the previous owners left these vases that I really liked. Bought some random books here. These are actually restoration hardware. <laughs> mailing catalogs but they're so pretty i thought they were cute i was gonna do some plants and stuff today but i think tomorrow we'll go to like a nursery or the garden center and find some nice pops of color with real plants i was looking at the fake plants i'm like i'm not doing it i want to do real plants in this house let's decorate so i'm going to decorate this one first restoration hardware books i think that would look cute right there base on top Ooh. This stuff, literally, <laughs> I'm such a nerd, it makes me so happy. So if I think about lighting in here at night, we're gonna get lighting from the kitchen over here on this one. I'm thinking we put the light like this. Ah. Uh. Okay. Let's just leave her here for a second. I think this one's good for now. It's really gonna pop with the plants. Like plants really make such a big difference. So I'm trying to think about space for the plants. This will have to go somewhere else. I'm actually now thinking this might look better on the bottom. Like that. And then this big vase I was thinking could be here. I think that looks good. Are you gonna catch him? Oh my god, what the hell? Sander! Okay, okay, get away from me. Okay, come look. Okay, he's don't not, come near he's me. not gonna get out of my hand. Okay, no, 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 I don't like it. I know you don't like it. That's okay. why I'm gonna bring him over. Here. No, I don't wanna. Z, Z, Z. Come here. No, come, come here, on. you record, come. you record. Fine. Go! Whee! He's tired. So he was brown when I got him, and now he's green, because he's a green anole. And now he's all warm, because he was sitting in my hand, and he had a second in the sun, and he's gone. Well, what I was gonna show you guys was we got our patio furniture out here. There's some more right here. Um, and then Z and his dad, like, pretty much did all the landscaping. You I don't think you guys can tell just because I didn't do it before, but there were like tons of stuff over here. So they've got a lot of it trimmed down. Like these were all completely out of the fence. These are trimmed. Right now we're in the process of getting all these rocks out. So that's like the current outdoor project. But my mom brought with her my old patio furniture from my apartment when I first moved to Tampa. So I thought we can get these out. I have the cushions in the garage. I just need to figure out where we can put them out here. We've got this lounger a couch, and then there's a little table somewhere. I'm thinking we can put them right here. It's like another next step is uncovering the pool. We had a pool guy come kind of talk to us about our pool. It's a saltwater pool. It's eight feet deep. We have a diving board. We have to figure out like the pool chemistry, which is gonna be Z's job. Look 
Looking to the rising sun This is where we belong We belong A new day soon We have a rug. So we actually had this rug in our garage because Xander's mom had it in the home that he grew up with and it's literally the exact same thing I was wanting for the space. I wanted something with a little bit of red undertone. So I think it matches really good. And I picked up some plants for the shelf. So I want to play around and see what looks good here. This one is going to drape down, kind of like a hanging one. So I kind of want that one on the top here and eventually it will go down. I'm thinking this pop of color one here, that looks good. And then eventually we'll put like books and stuff and like just add as we go. But that looks so good. This one here. I'm wondering if I should just put this guy in, no, that doesn't fit. What if I put this guy in there, maybe in the middle? I mean, I wanted something bigger for here. And again, we'll add as we go. It looks good. I think that looks really good. And then I found a mirror, kind of like an antique gold mirror. And then I have like a faux sheep rug that I got on Amazon, like a dark brown cozy one and then we would have our first wall of the living room i feel like i actually have the house got my boots on i know these aren't made for gardening but i don't really have gardening shoes we have these three very overgrown garden beds z took all day yesterday and pretty much just took everything out of this one right here 90 minutes, yeah. yeah we've got german johnson tomato we've got a cherry oaky purple heirloom tomato this one is a golden jubilee heirloom tomato got a black prince and then better boy and then we've got roma tomatoes with mozzarella we've got the basil all the Shutter tomatoes could be one thing we do i think oh that's the good. basil we could also do some pesto even though you don't like it yeah, I'm not and then caprese, person. like a caprese salad. Caprese. The, I think that's two, the two there. If we had a cow, we could do mozzarella cheese, but we don't have a cow yet. <laughs> I just got back from the grocery store and I have to see what Z did. I don't see him out here, but I can see that there's something going on in the garden. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at our tomatoes. But all of these are pretty much in. And look, he put like, <laughs> he's so cute. He put like the little tag on everyone. Oh, that's so sweet. Quick little grocery haul here. So we planned out our meals, which is also gonna be something that I used to do all the time and it really has helped. When it comes to dinner and we start cooking, we're like, what do we have, what are we doing? Like, it's just so chaotic and Bryson's eating different than we're eating and we're just like snacking and obviously I was going through a bit of like nausea and stuff and I'm starting to slightly feel better. So I think like prepping out our meals now, I'm actually gonna be able to eat the meals and it's just so much easier with the family. So on Monday we're doing like this non-chicken pizza recipe. We're doing our salmon bowl dish that we do all the time. On Tuesday, my mom is gonna be cooking on Wednesday. She's doing like a lemon chicken angel hair pasta dish. Thursday, we're doing a grill out night. We're gonna do burgers. And then Friday, we're probably gonna go out. So with that in mind, all the meat and everything is for the recipes, but just some other items that I wanted to mention were these Serenity Kids. Um, um, little vegetable pouches for Bryson. These are really quick and easy. He likes these. I've been craving acai bowls like a lot. So I'm gonna make acai bowls. Got the bananas, strawberries, acai, peanut butter we have. I picked up a ton of different snacks, pistachios. We've got some organic um, chips. These are not the best for you, but I love these. And I think if I'm ever having a bout of nausea, that will be an easy snack to get down. I found some popcorn, this was on sale. Cereal, waffles for Bubby. We still have yet to find a waffle that Bryson likes. We've tried many different brands. The Kodak brand he doesn't like, Vans he doesn't like. He loves Eggos, but those are not the best. So 
if your toddler likes any waffles let me know down below <laughs> i'm gonna try these out i know these probably are probably the same thing as i goes but who knows got some berries bryson is obsessed with blueberries and blackberries i heard this is really also good for nausea in the morning to just throw down so i got some of that we got some yogurt for baba this is also one of his favorite foods is yogurt chia seeds i wanted to make some overnight oats i've got some granola this is my favorite granola i've been eating that for years now we've got some little bars for bryson here and me these fig bars are really good i've had them before more stuff for the recipes dark chocolate i've picked up some of this strawberry halo top which i kind of want to try right now i've been drinking a lot of soda this pregnancy so again i'm feeling a little bit better so i picked up some Lacroix. i feel like that's so much healthier i would like to try this i i think i've only ever tried or really liked the halo top chocolate but i don't know why this looked really good i think they changed their recipe too because when i used to eat halo top it was very icy it has more of an ice cream consistency now so it actually tastes like real ice cream that's pretty good it's good it's a little melted so i think it'll be better once it's a little frozen but yeah freshly showered i just took like an everything shower and i feel so good i got to do my skincare tonight yeah i'm ready for the week i feel very good and i'm finally open and able to tell you guys that i'm pregnant i've been like hiding that and i always feel so weird when i hide something from you guys like i just feel like you guys are my best friends and so now it feels natural and right that we know and i can actually talk about it and it's not like this hidden thing that i'm trying to keep from people like i don't like keeping secrets i'm like a tell-all person like i just think having a secret is like a burden like i really don't like it so it just feels nice and i'm like very excited to move forward now that everyone knows but our house is coming along it feels like it's actually starting to feel like a home it's like slowly but surely coming along and i feel more myself so i'm excited to see what's to come i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up i love you guys so much thank you for making it to the end of the video and i will see you guys all in a future video bye